Hello, I am Dr. Suresh Nadan, the uh, Senior Orthopedic Surgeon and Director of the Limb Salvage and Revision Arthroplasty Surgery Clinic in Singapore. And today, I'm going to be talking about how to choose a good running shoe. I'm a orthopedic surgeon practicing at Oman Elizabeth Hospital in Singapore. Uh, I am a professor at the university. I've been lecturing um, on the care of musculoskeletal um, issues to medical students and doctors for many years now. In addition to that, and I think the thing that, make, thing that makes me more qualified is I um, am a avid runner and I've gone through the process myself of choosing appropriate footwear um, and a lot of what you'll hear today is really related to my experiences as a runner and in giving advice to people. Why is this an, even an issue? Well, it's really difficult to, to get good shoes nowadays. Uh, essentially, there, there's a lot of footwear out there and they come from various brands, but uh, many of these companies are, uh, most of these companies are um, financially driven and so a lot of what you'll hear is advertising and it's very difficult based on that to decide what's the appropriate footwear for you. What are the methods available? Well for that I've prepared a chart and here it is. Well, the first of all is to uh, go through the process through personal trial and error. You'll find that a lot of experienced um, uh, runners will have to do that because essentially they'll uh, get in the shelf, pick out a shoe, run for six months, see how it fits, and then go on to the next cycle. And this is very effective, but it, it can be very expensive. The second, which is very popular, it seems, is uh, some uh, outlets will actually provide for a service where they'll uh, put you on a treadmill and have you run down the street and sort of give analysis based on what they see. Um, I myself have gone through the process, but I realize that this is very, very flawed. The minute-to-minute -minute variation in uh, the ankle as the foot moves simply cannot be assessed with these methods and so at best these methods are questionable. A number of uh, shoe companies um, like Mizuno for example have an online shoe assessment system. Now this is a system that I'm very intrigued by and I've tried it out and it seems to have certain um, value in it and for what it is, it was, it's probably a reasonable way of doing it, even if the results are not as good as the more formal systems we have today. Gate analysis is an a experimental methodology where a patient is, uh, is fitted with a number of reflective surfaces and they walk through an array of cameras and the cameras then pick up their gait. This is an incredibly effective method of uh, doing this technique, but it is largely only available through research centers. And then we come to the force plate analysis. Force plate analysis is a system that is used in gait analysis, and it is a very effective method for assessing this, and this would be um, the method that the rest of this talk uh, will be focused on. Tell me more about force plate analysis. Well, that's going to be really useful for you today. Um, essentially, a force plate analysis uh, requires you to stand on a pressure transducer, and this uh, will pick up the pressure points in your feet relative to uh, your body. And based on this, we'll be able to assess what your weight bearing status is and then give advice on footwear. I have present, I've prepared three different cases here which should illustrate uh, what um, this technology is about. And so this is uh, the first case. It is a normal foot. The green areas that you'll see here essentially 
are the areas with minimum stress. The orange to red areas uh, represent the higher areas of stress. Now this pink line that you see down the center is the neutral line. And this curved line here is where the foot tends to go. Now in this normal foot, you will see that a bit of this curved line is on the left side of the, of the pink line and a bit is on the right side. Therefore, you can conclude that the weight bearing axis of this foot is neutral and perfect. This next case, however, is a case where you'll see that the, that the weight bearing axis, which is this line here and here, is on the inside and correspondingly you'll see that the reddish areas and the orange areas are on the inside of the foot. And so while this patient may not be a flat-footed patient or at best a mildly flat-footed patient, uh, he is an overpronator. And so if you are going to choose footwear for this person, then you need to choose something that's going to prevent the patient from turning his foot too far inwards or overpronating. By and large, overpronators are actually very, very common, but they often will be uh, much feared that they have this next condition, which is true flat footedness. Now, if you compare this case with the previous case, you will notice that the previous case was still had a well developed arch. This present case, however, has no arch to speak of, and you can see that all of the, the uh, force bearing line is on the inside of the foot. In addition, if you look at the stress bearing areas, they're all on the forefoot, which means he's a forefoot runner, but essentially it's in this corner here that all the forces of the foot go, and therefore this patient is going to have a lot of overstrain injuries in the, fall, in the big toe under the, the big toe ball. However, with shoe correction, which is what you see here, you will now see that the orange and red areas are now well distributed right through the foot. The weight bearing axis remains the same, yet the force bearing is now distributed through the foot. And this is a very critical thing that will actually offload this foot. So these are just three very simple and common cases. Um, and uh, but it does illustrate the utility of this technique. So thank you very much for watching. For, for more information and more instructional and uh, videos, you can go to worldwideweblimbsalvagesurgery.com. Um, I should add that there are no financial affiliations uh, or obligations with any of the services that are um, featured in this video. Thank you.